Hi guys, Sean from Optics. So today we've got the Night Force Attacker 5 to 25 by 56. This is the F2, or also known as the Enhanced. Uh, this is second generation of the second focal plane Night Force Attacker. Uh, this is why it's also known as the Enhanced. The Enhanced basically took a step up over the, the predecessor uh, with the introduction of a power throw lever, um, which is going to your magnification and then it has a digital illumination system as well and you also got a set of Tenebrax covers included. So this particular model is the Enhanced and I'm just going to run you through the features of this 5 to 25. It's been out a long time but it's a scope that I know a lot of people like to know some information about and they're just going to run it through. So with all night forces you do have a semi-fast focus diopter adjustment. It's different to most and basically you've got a fast uh, adjusting locking ring there and you simply uh, find your diopter and you just put your locking ring engaged and that's it sorted. We then move forward then onto the mag ring. As I said, this is an enhanced model. It comes with the option of attaching a power throw lever and you simply can just attach it onto the eyepiece there and it's just a little cat's tail and it allows the shooter just to quickly adjust the magnification and that's really important when you are out in the field with say gloves or your hands are cold, just allows it to be that much more smoother. We move forward onto the 34 mil main tube and this 34 mil main tube gives you 120 MOA. I say MOA just because it is uh, an MOA uh, scope I'm talking about, but this is also available in mil radian uh, clicks and a mil radian based reticule. So you've got plenty of internal adjustment in this scope. Uh, definitely one for long range shooting. On the illumination or the, the, the side of the, the saddle or uh, where the parallax is situated, we've got the digital illumination system that simply you set your illumination and it's just a simple push on and push off. This is the MOART reticule and the only part of the reticule on this scope that illuminates in the MOART is the center cross. Um, the parallax comes um, down to 45 yards, so not quite for air rifle ranges, especially on that highest magnification. However, if you were to back it down, you would suffer a bit of parallax, but you could get down to shorter ranges if you actually wanted to use the scope on it. Um, the second focal plane and the first focal plane Night Force Attacker 7 to 35 do come down to 10 yards. So if you are looking to put a really top end optic on to an air rifle like an FX, for instance, the 7 to 35 Night Force Attacker comes down to those short ranges. But this was predominantly made in the beginning, uh, definitely for long range target shooting. We move forward or move on to the elevation. The elevation features a zero stop and it's a hard painted zero stop system. It's one Night Force is renowned for and we know it tracks well and it's been doing this for years. So you can't fault their tracking on the Night Force and their robustness. They are one of the best and most reliable scopes on the market for that. On the MOA version, you have 30 MOA per revolution or on the mil radian based version, you have 12 mil rad per revolution and you simply got a turn indicator just here and it just um, tells you exactly what revolution or turn you're on for your elevation. We move forward, or I keep saying move forward, but we move across onto the windage and this is a cap windage. Make sure you don't knock it in the field or in trans transit. Underneath this cap, simply take it off, make sure you don't lose it. And it's um, a single turn windage turret, uh, talks in left and right. So again, after a long day of shooting, not I uh, can't get confused there. And again, like I said, these track perfectly. So you've got all, all faith can be put into this rifle scope. As I said, it's a 34 mil main tube. Uh, we then move on to the objective, features top quality ED Japanese glass. And the Night Force Attacker is definitely um, very good in uh, target situations. It, they're really bright and white and they give a really nice resolution and you get maximum light transmission. I think it's about 90% in this model. 
Uh, the one little qualm about this scope is the fact that on the lower mag it does tunnel. So the 7 to 35 doesn't tunnel, but this five times um, attacker does. So the 5 to 25, again, like you've seen the Schmidt and Bender PM2, you do get that tunneling effect at five mag. So about five to seven, you will have that element of tunneling. But most people will want them to use the scope past that magnification of five. And as soon as you move up past that magnification, you do not uh, you're not affected by the tunneling another thing to quickly note is the uh, very wide field of view on the lowest mag on the five times um, the one thing it does get in, in this five mag is a really nice wider field of view it's about 17.1 feet and that will give every shooter near enough exactly what they would ever need especially at that magnification range so this is a night force attacker um, it's definitely an oldie, but it's still one of the, the top rifle scopes in sort of its division. The new 7 to 35 has uh, overcome this potentially. Again, you've got the 7 to 35 being a higher price point and a larger magnification range, but there's a lot of shooters still only needing a 5 to 25 mag. This is the second focal plane version. They do have in the first focal plane. Both get 120 mm away of adjustment both available in Milrad and MOA. And yeah, top quality ED glass. It's a really nice scope. If you want even more info, just head on to the website on the night, uh, look for the night forces on there and check out our other videos. We've got one on the NX8, which is a nice scope. And you've got the a 7 to 35 uh, video on there as well. And we run through the features of that. But yeah, make sure you follow us on Instagram, Facebook, uh, like the channel and make sure we keep the content coming. Cheers.